Uh, well, we were contacted by our partners in Dubai, which is uh, Ocean Power International. They, they represent us here and do all of our, our, lo our, our local um, transactions. And they had a vessel in dock in Dubai Dry Dock where they had a, an urgent requirement in order to meet the exit date from the docking for a large rudder bearing. And at that point, they weren't exactly sure of the sizing that, that they had in there. So the requirement on Thorden was to try and produce this in as short a period as possible and to get it shipped to Dubai within as short a period as possible. So we did that, we manufactured it in less than 24 hours and we got it more or less straight on a plane. And it turns out that even though we've been making our products for 40 years, this was actually the largest and heaviest of any bearings that we had ever produced. Uh, the outside diameter was around 1.2 metres. Um, inside diameter on the supply was less than a metre. Um, and that was then supplied to Dubai Dry Dock and machined on site and fitted quickly in order to allow the vessel to meet the dry dock exit date and return to trading. One of the logistical challenges that we had at the time, obviously at the moment with the situation we're in throughout the whole world with Covid and the challenges that's bringing to us all, the, the difficulties of us getting the, the, uh, the parts onto, onto an aircraft to be able to get to Dubai in time was a, bit, was a big challenge. In fact, more than once it was on the aircraft and had to be taken off in favour of passengers' baggage, which is always a shame because uh, it's, it's at the discretion of, 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 the, of, the, of the captain of the plane at that particular time. But we managed to overcome that and we did get it there in time. And, it, and in the end, um, all parties were satisfied. The important thing from being here is if these events are on, then we want to be here to make sure that the market is fully aware of, of our total commitment to what, to what we do here. And as I said, we're working with our local partners, Ocean Power International, and they've um, developed a very nice stand for us here at this event. And we're here in the, in, in the new settings, and it's good to see that it's, that it's, um, that it's a, a, ni a nice new setting and look forward to it being a success. Well, we're here at Sea Trade Maritime Middle East because we see it as a key opportunity to be able to reconnect with our clients after such a long time of not being able to do that. And it's the excellent opportunity and the perfect platform to be able to invite your customers to, to your stand to have these conversations away from their offices to try and to develop the relationships that we believe that are, we believe is key. You know, we've, we've all spent the last 18 months to two years talking through Zoom calls or Teams meetings, and we fundamentally believe that meeting face to face at events such as Sea Trade Maritime Middle East is, is the actual perfect key to future development. <laughs>